I saw a hover car, a robot that can fold your laundry, and smart glasses with full hand tracking, and they can take photos and videos in horizontal mode. CES 2026 was absolutely insane. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and this is the future that I've always dreamed of as a kid, and I cannot believe that it is finally here. This is just a quick overview of everything that I saw. I'll do more of a deep dive once I'm home, but for now, let's get into some of the wildest tech that I saw at CES 2026. Let's start with smart glasses because smart glasses were everywhere. And the crazy thing is they're not all the same. For example, Rokid has versions that are AI only or ones with full displays. TLC's Ray Neo has displays that are full color in both eyes that is so vivid but still transparent and you can even capture what you're seeing in real life and have it overlay whatever the ar is with the glasses themselves the company dream went modular they have ai smart glasses but they have removable displays and these displays work with any of their ai glasses so you can turn your ai glasses into display glasses easily. And one of the biggest news on smart glasses is that Xreal teamed up with Asus Rogue Ally. So now you can play your handheld gaming console with these huge, beautiful, rich displays in a glasses form factor. Now onto robots. This year felt like the year that the Jetsons came to life. I saw robots cooking full meals, folding your laundry, playing tennis, playing chess. There were even several robot vacuums that could climb up and down the stairs, which oddly had huge crowds of people waiting to watch them climb up and down the stairs. And here's a behind the scenes look. Qualcomm actually gave me a private demo of the customizable robots that they're building. So basically they're building these base robots. So think of it as a base engine that any other companies can then customize and do their own things on top of. So in a couple of years, you could have a robot chef, a robot maid, a robot personal trainer, all running on the same brain. And that is pretty wild. Okay, and the hover car that I mentioned earlier, it was not flying, but they did have a video playing in the background, but I saw the hover car, it was huge, and it had so many fans on it. Even though it wasn't flying, the fact that this thing exists and that people are seriously working on this, like the Jetsons future is so much closer than we think. Now, when it comes to VR, it was a little bit quieter this year at CES. One of the standout things that I saw in terms of VR was Pimax Dream Air headset. This thing is so tiny, it's so light, and it's so beautiful. Even though it's like this tiny glasses form factor, it has 4K resolution in each eye and 110 degrees field of view. And something I didn't know is that they actually have two versions of this headset. One version works with lighthouse tracking and another version has inside out tracking. So whether you're like a VR purist or you want something a little bit more convenient, there is both options of the Pimax Dream Air available to you. I will be doing a more in-depth video on this a little bit later on. And then there was AI. AI was absolutely everywhere and everywhere in places that you wouldn't even think about AI being in. For example, Dream has AI hair dryers. The hair dryer has a little camera on top of it and that camera can see your scalp health and it can also see the texture of your hair, the wetness of your hair, and automatically adjust the temperature and the speed that the air is coming out of to perfectly be tailored to your hair. AI in a hair dryer. TCL also had these really cool AI notepads. It was like a very paper-like notepad. It turns your handwritten scribbles into typed text. It summarizes your notes and it even transcribes your voice. And then Lenovo had their keynote at the freaking Sphere. The CEO of Lenovo, NVIDIA, AMD, the FIFA president. There were so many CEOs back to back just talking about all the things that they're building together with AI. So the main theme of the keynote is that 
Lenovo wants to create AI that communicates across all your devices. So Motorola's new phone, the AI in that, and then Motorola is also creating a pendant, an AI pendant that you can wear. And then also they're working on a smart ring that also has AI that tracks your biometrics. And then your computer will have AI. So Lenovo is working on an ecosystem that allows them all to talk to each other um, so that you're not having to use all of these different LLMs, but instead, you just have one seamless integration of all of your AI products. I also did get a demo of Motorola's new phone, which has four cameras on it, and it makes me realize that I definitely need to replace my phone, especially because Samsung also had their new trifold phone available there, which I did get to hold and play around with. When you unfold Samsung's new trifold phone, it becomes almost the size of a tablet, and it's still like basically the same size as my iPhone. Oh, and Razer is making AI headphones that have cameras built into them that is a competitor to AI smart glasses. This is called Project Motoko and it is releasing this year. But Razer is also making holographic waifus slash husbandos. <laughs> so yes, they're like AI holographic companions. The future is really cool and weird. I've been to CES for the past five years and CES 2026 was completely different from any other year. Like the amount of energy and innovation, it was basically a preview of the next decade crammed into just a couple of days. So if you want me to deep dive into any of this tech, let me know in the comments below. And if you were there and you saw something crazy that I might've missed, let me know. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're not already because I have so much more that I want to tell you guys. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the future.